Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm taking a look at the Nimitz wallet by OpenSea Leather Company. Let's check it out. All right, so let's take it out of its pouch here. I'll give you guys a nice close up of the Nimitz by OpenSea Leather Company. And while you guys are checking this out, let's talk about some of the features. The Nimitz is made of full grain Italian Botero vegetable tan leather, and it's handmade right here in the USA. The Nimitz is a variation of the original gun deck wallet, but it has an extra pocket, which brings the total to five. There's four pockets on the inside and one on the out. It can hold up to 10 credit cards and bills if you fold them in half, and it's all held securely by this unique tuck closure. And it's available in tons of different color options for the leather, and the thread. All right, so that's enough of the quick features. Let's talk dimensions. So the closed dimensions are three inches tall by four and a quarter inches wide. And according to my weight test, it weighs two ounces. That's 56 grams. So I went with the chestnut color for the main portion and I went with the blue for the secondary color and I think it looks awesome. And then you can see my color choice for the thread was black. And there's just so many options for colors on this thing. You spend an hour just trying to figure out what color combination you want. But this is my third wallet by OpenSea Leather Company and the quality is top notch in all three. I mean, my current EDC is the Hubei right here. Uh, I did do a video on this. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link in my description box. But I absolutely love this wallet. I'm still carrying it to this day. But if I put these side by side, you can see that the Hubei is a vertical style wallet and the Nimitz is a horizontal style wallet, which I really do like the vertical style wallet here on the Hubei. Taking cards out and putting them in is a breeze. And another thing I noticed about the Nimitz was just how much thicker the leather was on this one compared to the Hubei. If I give you guys a close up of how thick the leather is, you can see the Nimitz right here and here's the Hubei almost twice as thick. Now, I'm not sure if that's just how these wallets are. The Nimitz is supposed to be thicker than Hubei, but there's definitely a weight difference between these two leathers. And of course, because these are both made of full grain leather, they both smell awesome. I just love the smell of full grain leather. So the Nimitz has four pockets on the inside here. So you can see based on the folds, we have one pocket here. There's one, two, three, and then the tuck closure right there. So those are the three card pockets on the inside and the fourth pocket is your cash pocket. But of course, if you're not a cash carrier, you can also utilize this as another card pocket. And then the fifth pocket is located right here on the back side. But honestly, I'm probably not gonna use this card pocket here on the back for the same reasons I don't use the card pocket on the back of the Hubei. Just because I think putting a card back there will mess up the aesthetics because it's just another gorgeous wallet. But taking a look at this pocket, because the card goes in horizontal, it might not stick out of the top here like it does in Hubei. So on the Hubei, when you put a card back here, you can see it just sticks up so high. It's just ugly. But I haven't tried this yet. Let me see how that works. Oh, look at that. Just fully engulfs that card. So maybe I will utilize this back pocket as a quick access card pocket because you can't even tell there's one back there. So that's a nice surprise. I wasn't expecting that. I was fully expecting not to use that back card pocket. So let's start stuffing some cards in these three pockets on the inside. So let's start with my flat demo cards here. So I'll use the rear pocket here and then the center pocket, then the front pocket here and all right, there you go. So obviously being a brand new wallet, it still has to break in. This full grain leather will actually stretch out the more you use it. But I don't think I'm gonna have any problem sticking 10 cards in this wallet, because right now I have four. So I just stuffed another three cards in the inside pockets there for a total of seven. So as I mentioned before, you can actually utilize this back card pocket as a card pocket as well if you don't carry cash. So there's three more. And there's our total of 10. So of course, this wallet got much thicker with a total of 10 cards in it. And I'll give you guys a nice side view. And if I do a quick measurement on this wallet with the full capacity of 10 cards in there, let me make sure I get the full thickness. It's 0.803 inches. But of course, that's that full capacity with no cash in there. So I'll take out the three cards that were in that cash slot for a total of seven. And that's basically what I carry on an everyday basis anyways. And putting cash in there, there's only two bills, but folded in half, fits in pretty nicely. But let's talk about the functionality here. So of course, getting your cards out of this front pocket is gonna be extremely easy. That's not my issue with this. It's getting the cards out of the back 
pocket here and the middle pocket. Because I have two cards per slot, it's pretty tight in there and getting the cards out, I mean, here we go. It's gonna be a little tricky. But once again, this is a brand new wallet. It's gonna be really tight when you first get it. It will break in over time. So honestly, I wouldn't keep two cards per pocket in this wallet. What I would do is keep my most used credit card right here on the outside pocket. One more in that middle pocket right there. And then I would just take this whole stack and stick them back here with my cash as so. Only because I don't use a lot of cash, I only carry cash for emergencies. So I want the cards that I don't really use at all, like my driver's license or my GPS tracker card in the back out of the way. So this configuration for me would be absolutely perfect. So would I recommend the Nimitz by OpenSea Leather Company? Absolutely. As I mentioned before, OpenSea Leather Company is one of my favorite companies out there making wallets. And the Nimitz here definitely does not prove me wrong. It has top-notch craftsmanship. I mean, just take a look at this stitching here. This is all hand-stitched. Check out this cross-stitching right here. It's absolutely beautiful. And just like all OpenSea Leather Company wallets, it's endlessly customizable with the amount of colors that you can choose and the different color options for thread you can choose. It's made right here in the USA. It's made of full grain leather. So the more you use it, the more beautiful it's going to get. And it's priced at $79. So in my opinion, it's worth every penny. So will the Nimitz be my new EDC? I don't know yet. Only because I love the OpenSea Leather who base so much. I'm not really sure if I'm ready to switch out of this wallet yet, but when I'm ready for a change, I might just try this Nimitz as my daily driver. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the Nimitz by OpenSea Leather Company? Yes, I bought this for 79 bucks, and I'll put the links below in my description box if you guys wanna check it out for yourself. And also let me know in the comments below if you guys have the Nimitz or if you plan on picking one up. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up, please subscribe, and go!